Rashad Owens now faces four counts of aggravated assault using a motor vehicle as a deadly weapon. That brings his total number of charges up to 26. He faces a total of 24 counts of aggravated assault and one capital murder charge, as well as another charge we have not been able to find out about. One of his new charges concerns this young woman who was injured in the crash, Mason Endress. This is what she looked like before the crash. And after the crash, you can see her with scars and wearing a neck brace. She's lying in her hospital bed. One of her favorite bands, Jared in the Mills, stopped by her hospital room two days after the crash as she was recovering. She was released from the hospital just after a week after that. And tonight, you have the chance to help as she continues her rehab. KXAN's Ignacio Garcia explains. I still have my South by bracelet on. Mason Endress still wears her bracelet proudly. She says in spite of what happened, the tragedy actually brought her family closer together. All the support and my family and friends, like they keep me going. I wouldn't be like this without them. Today, prosecutors officially charged Rashad Owens for injuring Mason the night of March 13. Police say Owens drove drunk into a crowd of people, hitting Mason and more than two dozen others. He definitely deserves it, but at this point, I'm He's gotten so many other charges, like, uh, he's, he's going to get what he deserves. But surgeries to repair a broken leg, fractured neck, and other injuries have come with a cost, both emotionally and financially. This is our medical bill stack so far. It's going to be a full-time job just taking care of this aspect of it. We know it's going to be expenses. It's just, it's no way around it. The fact that we still have minimum of two more surgeries, um, the, it'll just keep coming for a long time. The Endress family isn't going through this alone. A fundraiser here tonight at Liberty Hill High School will bring out friends, family, and well-wishers. Ready? Love and support that will go a long way towards helping Mason down her road to recovery. In Liberty Hill, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News.